Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. September and November continuing. It was a beautiful day. I hope you got out and enjoyed this one. Still, a lot of spots are near 70 degrees at this hour. If not in the 70s, they're in the 60s, and that's still well above normal. We're a good 10 to 12 to 15 degrees above normal. Right now, still 69 degrees in Lancaster, only one less in uh, York. Pop back up to 71 in Harrisburg. Got all the way up to about 74, 75 degrees. I'll have the official high coming up at 6. 69 degrees in Sealands Grove right now. Just a beautiful evening, too. Here's a live look from our effort of sky cam. The sun's setting now, and it's uh, looking like a very nice evening. 69 in effort of 43 to Dew Point. Winds are south at about five miles an hour. Just a very pleasant evening. But there are some changes on the way. Here's the forecast. As we go through the evening, no changes. Mainly clear, mild. We'll drop out of the 60s into the 50s. Not bad. Then overnight, we'll drop down toward 50 degrees. It's going to cloud over a little bit. It'll be mild. There could be a little patchy drizzle forming late tonight, especially southern and eastern counties. York, Lancaster, Chester, I'd favor a little more than north and west of Harrisburg. And then tomorrow, same story. A rather cloudier day, but still, look at the numbers 60s to near 70 degrees. A drizzle or maybe a few sprinkles or spotty showers around. Again, I'd favor it southern and eastern counties, but it doesn't look like much precipitation. It gets even warmer as we go into the day on Friday. Look at that, all that clear skies over us. High pressure gave us the beautiful weather. It's now starting to give us more of an easterly flow of air, and that easterly and southeasterly flow picking up some of this moisture. Off to the south of us. That's what I think will start to move up into the Susquehanna Valley. Nothing on the radar right now, but let's time it out for you with the predictor. Look at that. We drop into the 50s this evening, but there's uh, some of that moisture. I think what the predictor's showing is this spotty drizzle, maybe a few areas, a little light rain here or there. Again, I favor it in eastern counties. Look at the numbers, though. Tomorrow morning, we're in the 50s. We get up near 70 again. Then things start to dry out a little bit as we go into Friday. Friday afternoon, Friday evening, a cold front gets here. But look at that. Mid 70s again ahead of that front. Could be a shower late Friday or Friday evening. And then it looks like it dries out for Saturday. Still rather cloudy. Breezy, a little cooler, too. I think from Friday afternoon in the mid 70s to late day Saturday, it could be in the mid 50s. Good 20 degree drop in temperatures. You'll notice it, but it's nothing unusual for this time of year. Stays kind of cool for Sunday and Monday. Layla Shrum from Park Hills Elementary School, first grader there, is our kids' artist for this evening. Again, another nice fall picture. And it's Wednesday, so it's Weather Watcher Umbrella winner for Ross Brenneman from Redline. Congratulations, Ross. Don't need that umbrella for the next couple of days. Yeah, just a few sprinkles around. Let's see how the roads are going. Here's Danielle. Well, if you're traveling around the Beltway region,